Now that it's clear that Cardi B and Offset are experiencing marital issues again, we can't say we're surprised. Ever since their 2017 wedding, the red flags have been busting us upside the head. Girl, I think I got a concussion. For the people who want to tussle with us because we won't stop singing, now she say she gonna do what to who? Let's find out and see. RG, you know where I'm at. You know where I be. But for the rest of y'all, you're definitely going to need something to munch on for this one. So head on over to rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of beef and bacon jerky, sour licorice belts, RRG coffee mugs, and butter toffee peanuts. Girl, let me find out we got mugs for the hot tea. Okay. After ending her relationship with her jailbird boyfriend, Tommy, Cardi was ready to move on. While at an industry event at the start of 2017, Offset approached her. In an online video, Cardi said Offset was pouring it on thick by complimenting her music and her work ethic. But his riz fell flat. <laughs> Try again, Buster. Cardi was certain that Offset only wanted to smash her cheeks to smithereens, but she let her guard down since he was so persistent and very consistent. Mm-hmm, he can be consistent for the cheeks, okay. She agreed to go out with him, and the father of three took her to the 2017 Super Bowl for their first date. On an episode of the Call Her Daddy podcast, Offset said he loved how raw and confident Cardi was. He liked how she didn't care what anyone thought about her. And as he got to know her more, he fell in love with her funny personality, and he liked how she always put her family first. Cardi told a Miami radio station that it was Offset who kept her motivated prior to the release of her debut studio album. She said, I used to tell him I felt like I was never going to make it. He would tell me, you're going to get there. They collaborated on music together, including her song Lick and the Migos track Motorsport. She told Us Weekly that they made their relationship work by having a lot of communication and endless smash sessions. That sound fun as hell. One day, while playing tonsil hockey, Offset told her, you're going to have my baby one day. That's when Cardi pumped the brakes. She responded, we ain't having no baby. You have to marry me. Offset agreed to tie the knot, but the wedding didn't happen right away because they had too many trust issues. Cardi told GQ magazine she also had a lot of people in her ear telling her that he was going to leave her and that he was stepping out on her. Cardi said, I always feel like he can get any girl he wants. What makes me think he's going to want me? In return, people would tell Offset that Cardi was a dog and that she couldn't be trusted. In the end, they decided to stop playing games, and without telling the press, they got married on September 20th, 2017. A month later, all hell broke loose. Not surprised. Cardi hopped on Instagram and posted, Peace Ninja, followed by an Instagram story photo of herself that read, Single. Now, keep in mind, they were already married at the time. This means they were already experiencing relationship issues one month after becoming husband and wife. Yes, we said one month. God damn. Right after declaring she was single, she returned to Instagram to tell her fans she had overreacted. Girl, stop lying. She added, I exaggerated a little bit earlier because I was upset, and the Bronx girl and me always have to go to the extreme. I came to my sense now. I'm sorry. Waffle House on me? Yeah, girl, go and get me one of them T-bone dinners. Days later, while performing at the Powerhouse concert in Philadelphia, Offset surprised Cardi by proposing to her with an eight-carat diamond engagement ring. Proposing? Girl, I thought you said they was already married. Yeah, we're unsure why he was proposing to someone he was already married to. But nonetheless, Cardi said yes. This don't make no kind of sense. They sound like dumb and dumber, honey. Drama was right around the corner, though. Law, oh, this is getting messy. I need my new RRG mug to sip this tea, girl. In December 2017, someone hacked Offset's iCloud and exposed images of him in a hotel with another woman. The timestamp of the incriminating evidence proved that Offset stepped out on Cardi the same month they secretly got married. He need his ass beat. Ninja couldn't even give it 90 days for a probation period. In an Instagram comment, Cardi wrote that Offset's ex was responsible for leaking the images and they were working behind the scenes to take care of the situation. She addressed the situation on stage in front of fans. She said, I let a ninja know though, you do that shit again, you're gonna lose your wife. Girl, stop lying, you ain't going nowhere. While she was able to move on, her fans weren't. One online user commented, poor Cardi, she's just like y'all. <laughs> 
I beg your pardon? Cardi responded by saying, No, it's not right for a ninja to cheat. But what you want me to do? Go me another ninja? Start all over again and get cheated on again? Yeah, no. According to an online dating coach, someone like Cardi needs to look at herself as the common denominator in relationships. And in order to avoid choosing partners that cheat, she needs to do a few things. To start, she needs to stop ignoring all the damn red flags. She also needs to take some time to discover what a healthy, loving relationship looks like to her. And then she needs to consciously pick a man who holds those same beliefs. Instead, Cardi chose a partner who struggled to remain faithful. And then she tried to force him to be monogamous. In other words, she was trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. She said she knew she could have any man she wanted, but she wanted to work things out with Offset, and she didn't think she needed to give anyone an explanation. She then added that what he did was wrong, but she wasn't an angel either. Okay, Cardi, what you do, girl? She released the song Be Careful in March 2018, and the lyrics are dedicated to an unnamed cheater. No, nah, girl, we know his name. Cardi later confirmed the song wasn't about Offset. The lies, the lies, the lies. <laughs> <laughs> Cardi revealed her baby bump during her April 2018 appearance on Saturday Night Live. When online users called her out for allowing her cheating-ass boyfriend to knock her up, Cardi shocked the world by announcing that they were actually married and they would be celebrating their one-year wedding anniversary in September 2018. Surprise, surprise! <laughs> She later told Vogue magazine that people kept telling her she was crazy for having a baby with a man who already had three children. But Cardi wasn't phased by that at all. She said, My dad has eight kids and we all get along and it feels better, fuller. And with Offset, I feel like his kids just bring a pop of fun to life when they're in his house. I actually love it. For the 2018 Met Gala, Offset chose to rock the red carpet with the Migos. Cardi later told the New York Times that she didn't understand why Offset couldn't walk with her, and the other two Migos could have done their own thing. But in the end, it was clearly bros before hope. Some of my bitch, that ninja. Their daughter Culture was born in July 2018. A little over a week after Culture's birth, Offset and his bodyguard were locked up near Atlanta after cops smelled MJ during a search of his car. They also discovered three handguns, which is a big no-no for a convicted felon. His attorney told People Magazine that Offset was very concerned about Cardi and the baby after his arrest. He should have stayed his concerned ass at home then. Months later in December 2018, Cardi announced they had broken up after falling out of love. Offset confirmed he was partaking in activity that he shouldn't have been partaking in. And what activity is that, Offset? He then apologized for breaking your heart, for breaking our promise, for breaking God's promise, and being a selfish, messed up husband. Huh. Apology not accepted, Ninja. That same month, she headlined the Rolling Loud Festival, and Offset crashed her set with a floral arrangement, an apology, and a plea for them to get back together. Mm. 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 Cardi wasn't impressed and had the flowers removed from the stage before continuing her show. A writer for Teen Vogue later bashed Offset for his public tomfoolery. The writer called Offset selfish and manipulative and wrote, A person's decision to end a relationship should be respected and not seen as a challenge. Amen and Ashe. Okay. Despite everyone rooting for her to grow a backbone and walk away for good, Cardi and Offset reconciled a month later. Cardi confirmed to Vogue magazine that Offset's infidelity led to their breakup. We knew that girl. She also acknowledged that a lot of women were disappointed in her when she decided to give him another chance. However, she believed in forgiveness, and after having priests pray for them, they decided to get back together and take on the world as a team. Priests? Y'all should have called that Baptist preacher. She added, We have come to a clear understanding. For me, monogamy is the only way. To help Offset keep his dangling in his Versace Versace underwear, TMZ reported that he changed his phone number to show Cardi he was serious about being honest and faithful. Child, please, all he gonna do is give his new number to a new bitch. Sources added the new digits were strictly for Cardi and business phone calls. In addition to that, they implemented a no groupies rule. Offset reportedly wasn't allowed to have any female fans near him during his upcoming Super Bowl appearances in Atlanta. By the summer of 2019, Cardi was so in love with her husband, she went and tatted his name on her leg. Aw, damn. Damn, damn, And damn. Offset already had Cardi's name on his lower neck. 
Now you know that tattooing a lover's name typically leads to doom and gloom in our red flag videos. Sure do, every time. They moved into their $5.7 million Atlanta mansion at the end of 2019, and things appeared to be going well for them. Although she admitted to Elle magazine that their relationship had a lot of drama, she insisted that they had a strong bond that kept things intact. But by September 2020, she was done with his ass again. And when she filed for divorce after three years of marriage, Cardi later told her fans she ended things because she didn't want to wait for him to cheat on her again. Ooh, girl, we tired. We glad you finally tired. Are you tired yet? Is she tired yet? A source told People Magazine, Offset has pretty much cheated the entire time they've been together, but Cardi looked the other way because of the baby. Well, golly, what happened to the no groupie rule? Two months later, the divorce was off and they were back together. After receiving messages from disappointed fans, Cardi took to Twitter to post a voice message that said, If I want to go to an extreme to teach a ninja a lesson and file for divorce, I can do that. It's my life. Mm, you tell them, girl. <laughs> Their son, Wave, was born in September 2021. The following month, Cardi's handsome and wealthy husband bought her a mansion in the Caribbean. She showed her appreciation for the gesture in December 2021 by gifting him $2 million. Damn, that's some gift giving for your ass right there. But no amount of lavish gifts could fix the cracks in their marriage. In October 2022, rumors emerged that Offset was banging Saweetie, who was his Migos group member Quavo's ex-girlfriend. The alleged boot knocking was cited as the reason for the Migos' breakup, but some people believe that the man who went behind Quavo's back to hook up with Sweetie was the Migos' label mate, Lil Baby. Word? When Migos' group member Takeoff was tragically killed on November 1, 2022, Cardi took to Twitter to reveal that she felt hopeless in her efforts to make Offset happy following Takeoff's passing. Even though he was mourning, he still found time to cause havoc in their relationship. In June 2023, he accused Cardi of cheating on him. Cardi denied the allegations, and Offset later revealed that it was all a lie. This ninja, sit your black ass down. They celebrated their six-year wedding anniversary in September 2023, and from there, things got a bit strange. How strange? What happened? They unfollowed each other on Instagram, and Cardi began posting cryptic messages in December 2023 about how she wanted to put herself first. That'll do it. <laughs> That'll do it. And then on December 10th, 2023, during a heated online exchange, Blueface accused his ex-girlfriend, Krishan Rock, of getting her back blown out by Offset. What? According to Blueface, the alleged incident took place on November 10th at 4 a.m. Now that's quite specific. Now that's specific as hell. According to online sources, that was the night of French Montana's birthday party, and online articles confirmed that Krishan and Offset were indeed in attendance. They both denied the allegations, though. Didn't she just have a whole ass baby? Why is she getting her back blown out? Allegedly. Shortly after the news hit the internet, Cardi confirmed on Instagram Live that she had been single for a minute. I, I've been single for a minute now, but I have been afraid to like, not afraid, I just don't know how like to tell the world. Although she didn't believe the Krishan and Offset rumors were true, she stated she didn't even care to find out what happened between them. She went on to say she was looking forward to starting the new year with a new beginning. As of this video, she hasn't filed for divorce, and judging by their pattern of breakups to makeups, we wouldn't be surprised if they reconciled again. If you enjoyed this video, let us know down below, and thanks for watching RRG.